From the National Press Club in Washington, D.C., this is Rewind. This week, at a press club luncheon, the founder of the Huffington Post credited new media for exposing the British phone hacking scandal. The unique ability of new media is to stay on a story and doggedly stay on a story until we have an impact, until we break through. And that's what The Guardian did, demonstrating what I've always believed, which is that the future belongs to those who bring together the best of old media, fact-checking, accuracy, transparency, and the best of new media, which is interactivity, engagement with our readers, and real time. At the same luncheon, the CEO of AOL revealed an experiment in which the company's reporters are more open about their beliefs in relation to the stories they are writing. Something that we would like to see in the future is more transparency around journalists and what they believe in before uh, stories get written. Uh, they may be controversial, but that is something that we've talked to consumers about and they like. At another luncheon, a Washington sports and media mogul outlined the areas in which he sees potential for job creation and investment. Where I see the biggest growth, the job creation, the value creation coming, and it's at the intersection of local social networking, mobile, as we just heard, <laughs> and real time. That is the space that the most venture capital and private equity is flowing into. A co-host of the Today Show told journalism students to never accept rejection. 27 rejections. 27 news directors to my face told me no. You just need one. You don't need 10 people to think you're great. You don't need 100 people. You just need one person who believes in you. CNN's White House correspondent, newly appointed to her dream job, advised the same students to be clear about their goals and always let others know. And the one piece of advice I'd give you is that at every single stop along the way, including that little station in Orlando, when I was interviewing, they said, what do you want to be? And I said, White House correspondent. And they're like, well, you know you're in Orlando. There's no White House here. And I was like, I know, but I just want you to know that's what I want to be. So if you know what you want and you tell the people along the way, it really helps you end up getting there. NBC's White House correspondent gave a candid ranking of political reporters. You have uh, political reporters that understand media. Um, and political reporters that understand politics, but the, the really good ones understand both. And there are a lot of people who are high profile that don't understand politics, don't understand how it works, and don't appreciate it, um, and, and understand the nuance, and uh, that's, that's a shame. In the Press Club Ballroom, the National Restaurant Association announced its new initiative designed to promote healthy children's menus. These Kids Live Well items emphasize healthful ingredients, such as fruits, vegetables, lean proteins, whole grains, and low-fat and fat-free dairy products. Members joined Jack Daniels Master Distiller in the First Amendment Lounge for a presidential barrel whiskey tasting. This has been Rewind.